Ora. It's one of those uh, bitter sweet moments right now. We we're pretty stoked because we get to go back and see our family, even though they wouldn't really miss us. It's only been a, just under a month. But um, we're pretty happy. We miss our kids and the dogs and the family and touch and church. Um, but we're pretty sad because we just had one our final dinner with the Nibinax at their most favourite restaurant I think, which was Sun Fortune. And they did bring out the full feast for us. So. Oh, hopefully, well we know, it's definitely not going to be another 13 years before we see them again. Um, the parents, not so Clarence and Fire Barbara are definitely coming to the wedding next year. So we hope that with our family we can show them uh, a great time. Yeah, we've had great food, great company. Don't want to leave, but kind of have to. Yeah. Just for a week and then we'll bring our family back and we'll stay here for a year. No, we're going to miss them all because they're, they're just so amazing. They've looked after us so well. They're everything that we remembered and more. They've just spoiled us. <laughs> it's crazy to think we have another family all the way on the other side of the world. I don't remember the last time I was hungry. I don't know, right? <laughs> this is probably from eating and just saying I haven't been hungry. <laughs> back to driving on the left side of the road. <laughs> I guess before we leave, we want to say a big thank you to Wayne and Jody and all of the Fano and the Okanagan for looking after us while we were in your part of the world. Wayne, send me through your cooking recipes, please. I'll learn before we come to the wedding next year. And a big hello, and we miss you to Jake and Bruno. Jacob! So yeah, hopefully we get to see both Jake and Bruno in the very near future. <laughs> and a big, the biggest, biggest thank you to the Nipponak Fano. And to everyone who we've met here in Winnipeg. We don't want to go home. Thank an Indian people. Thank an Indian people.